Hey Pillars, welcome back to another quick video. Now this video is a short summary of disc versus rim in 2021 and I thought what better way to show you guys the actual difference than in a pro cycling race. So I'll show you guys two examples of a wheel change from a disc brake bike to a rim brake bike and then I want you guys to leave it in the comment section down below which system you think you'd want to use in a race. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Now the first clip is from Strada Bianchi 2021 from Quinn Simmons from Trek Segafredo. Now he ends up getting a flat tire and it's because of this flat tire and poor wheel change from a Shimano neutral car that he basically loses his chance of being in contention for the podium. So unfortunate for the young rider, but that's pretty much what happens when you have a disc brake bike. Now people are going to say that, you know what, it was a neutral service car, it was Shimano, it wasn't even Saram. Like I understand that, however for it to be that finicky and take that long for a wheel change, that just shows you how problematic disc brakes can be at times and in a race situation where every second matters. The fact that it was that finicky and that problematic is a big, big deal. The next wheel change we're going to be taking a look at is from Stage 5 of Perry Nice 2021. Team Ineos, Lawrence De Plus, he gets a flat tire and he says, I need a wheel change. The team car comes out, no finicky going on, just takes it, takes the rim. He's going to swap it, drops it, but he has it in his hand. You know, it's not a big, big deal. Picks it back up, takes the new rim, slots it into the rider's bike. And it's pretty much smooth sailing from then on. Now you guys will comment potentially and say, well, I can see both situations. You know, sometimes you can have a good uh, disc brake wheel change and a crappy uh, rim brake wheel change and vice versa. But all I'm going to say is I've been watching pro cycling for some time now. I've experienced running disc and rim. And all I'm going to say is when it comes to wheel changes, rim brake will always be superior. And going back to Quinn Simmons wheel change during Serrano Bianchi, it's because of how finicky the disc brakes are that he's not able to make the front group because I can truly see that if it was a rim brake bike, he would have been able to catch back on because it wouldn't have been that finicky. Now people are going to comment, well, it's because of the mechanic or it's because of this or because of that. At the end of the day, if you watch enough pro cycling, you will see that when it comes to wheel changes, the fastest, most efficient wheel changes in the pro peloton are rim brakes. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video in the first place is because I will be doing an updated version of rim brakes versus disc brakes in 2021. All the points that I always make in all my videos when comparing disc brakes and rim brakes are going to be relevant. I'll add my two cents. Now, all I want to say before anyone wants to smash a dislike, I do think disc brakes are needed for gravel riding and cycle cross. I just don't see the need in road racing where you're not supposed to be on your brakes in terms of modulation. It has its problems in terms of brake performance. You know, rotors can bend, overheat, warp. There's so many things. You know, I'm gonna take out some common sense and say, if the system has been used for more than 100 years by professionals, you most likely don't need it. What I basically pulled out is just the fact that when something is proven for over 100 years, and the technology has already been so refined to the point where the current world champion for time trialing is using a rim brake bike. The current Tour de France champion, Tali Pogaccia, you know, I just talked about uh, Philippe Ogana on the rim brake uh, TT bike. If the current Tour de France champion, uh, Tali Pogaccia, is on a rim brake Conago, why would the average club cyclist need a disc brake bike? That's what I thought. So basically, this was just a quick video because I want to sprinkle on the fact that I will be doing an updated version of uh, disc brakes versus rim brakes in 2021. And I will be touching up on the fact of the pros and my experience and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. I'm currently watching Milan San Remo and I'm exhausted. I woke up at 4 o'clock and I wanted to watch the 300 kilometer race in all its glory. But we already know. It's going to be during the Chipresa and the Poggio, so that's in the last kilometers. So why am I up? Is it because I want to make content? Is it because I want to make entertain you guys? I don't know, but I'm here right now. I don't even know what this is, but I'm wearing it. So I hope you guys like this rant. You know, this is one of the first rants I've really done on my channel. Usually I plan out my content a little bit more thoroughly than this, but I hope you guys liked it. 
Smash that like button if you guys want to see the full extended, you know, full, you know, Disc Freaks versus Raymond 2021. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And until the next one, keep on pedaling.